the video and further advertisement. Um, we realised that one of the issues was that millennials were falling into debt while using Afterpay and it's not being promoted very well. So we want to fix that. And then the second recommendation will be a customer service training program within Afterpay. So another issue arising was that um, customers were not um, being they were receiving really poor customer service from Afterpay, so we want to improve that as well. So Josh will dive into the first recommendation. Thanks, Anna. So our first recommendation would be a marketing strategy surrounding responsible spending and just uh, recommendations on how millennials can manage their money better in order to reduce the risk of falling into debt at such a young age. Um, so Afterpay does have a responsible spending section. Uh, as you can see, it's just squared up at the top in some little writing up there. <laughs> they definitely don't make it their main draw point, which we believe it really should be. Um, I don't believe anybody here would have had to get a home loan yet or put a deposit on a house, but once you fall into, except for you, sir, <laughs> once you fall into a crippling debt, it becomes excessively hard to, uh, to get money. So what we've found is they've kind of hidden it away. They have a small video that's not directed at millennials, it's not easy to understand, and they really haven't implemented any methods to ensure that there is safe and responsible spending. The one thing they have done um, is put a spending limit on your first round of spending. However, after this, you are free to go and spend as much as you want and put yourself into as much debt as you think is necessary. Um, as you can see currently, they are promoting a culture of spending whilst in debt. Now, this is a very, 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 very dangerous message to be spreading as millennials have not yet suffered the consequences of dragging yourself down into a immense pool of debt. And as you can see here, broke AF, I think you know what that means, but strongly <laughs> support treating yourself. This is a, a very, very dangerous message to be spreading. So we would like to get the correct message out there. We'd like millennials and anybody who uses Afterpay to understand, uh, understand the troubles of going into debt and just how to manage your money more responsibly. So the first strategy that we would like to implement would be a commercial advertisement implemented through retailers, social media, email chains, and one more that I'll get to in just a second. So for retailers, we believe that uh, putting up nice big posters, nice bright, colorful, engaging posters, or even running advertisements on televisions, if they do have that in store, we believe that that'll um, It'll, it'll uh, get the message to spenders before they actually process their afterpay payment uh, through social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn even. Uh, we believe that those networking chains are a great, great, great method to get this message out. Um, as I mentioned, email chains just for current customers and for new signing up customers. And then lastly, before you sign up to Afterpay, we believe that having a compulsory responsible sending spending module would be a great way to get the message out there before they actually start working with Afterpay. Beyond this, we believe that you know you can go as far as national television, get your advertisement out there uh, Australia-wide, as I think it's just Australia and New Zealand business at the moment, and even over the radio, just while people are doing their commute on the, on uh, to work, to university, just uh, get the message out there. Alright. So I'll pass on to Bea and she'll speak about the second recommendation. So obviously the uh, second recommendation is customer service training. Now doing our research and reviews online we've noticed that um, most the common ground between customers is that it's poor customer service from Afterpay. So the next slide will actually show some reviews that have been online. These are from two different websites. So we've highlighted some of the points I've been saying. So there's very disappointing service, rude customer service, um, very satisfied with the way I've spoken to and that was very difficult to deal with and it's a recurring problem, not with I'm just after paper or other businesses. So in order to resolve that we just need to do a customer service training program. So we believe um, that we should hire a professional um, customer service representative and um, they can do a workshop or even a lecture within Afterpay and just give them points on how um, to deal with customers while they're complaining and um, find their appropriate responses in with that. Um, they can, you can bring someone in or we could hire a customer service manager or promote someone within Afterpay and just teach the employees um, how to deal with complaints. <coughs> so we want to assign employees to specific, specific areas for complaints. So for example, the extensions for late payment, they want to extend their payments for some specific reason. We could have 
uh, employee to deal with that. Um, refunds and lost packages, that is sometimes a retailer's issue, however it is customers' money they're using with Afterpay, so we want to make sure that's dealt with, um, with Afterpay and with the retailer. And special considerations, now people do go through hardships and they can't control what happens in their life, so if they want to freeze their accounts for a certain period of time,